I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Well, now we can... Hi. Hi. It's good to see you, Jess. Hey, Sam, you remember Kate? Oh, uh, yeah, you dated her. Right, um, what a surprise finding you here. Oh, we've been picking her brain on mom's stuff. Oh, she's been so helpful. You've been so helpful. Can you help with that? Any of you? Yeah, that's definitely beyond my skill set. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> no, well, just because you're a mom doesn't mean you can control other moms, so. True. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, well, if you'll excuse me, there's a dirty martini with my name on it. <laughs> anyway, the high. The jig's up, Puff. Hand over the basil, Mom. I can't believe the two of you would think before you're... I am high. On life. Happiest day of my life. <laughs> and you, how are things? I heard you recently went through a breakup. Which Chris told you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, actually. Great, in fact. You know, I'm a dating marine these days. I can take it on the chin like a man. Not too hard, I hope. I don't want to leave a bruise there. <laughs> uh, can I get you something to drink? Yeah. yeah okay. That'd be great. Honey, let it go. Your mom will be fine. Feeling guilty about it will only spoil the day. Oh, great. Now I feel guilty about feeling guilty. Oh. Well, if you would stop moving. I'm getting married in five minutes, and now my eye is blue. Hardly. Look, if you would just sit still, then maybe I could do this so you wouldn't look like a circus clown. Hey, hey, come on, you guys. It's our wedding day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... Never mind. What? I should be happy that Jen's scoring left and right. But you're irritated. Oh, I'm irritated about the fact that I'm irritated. I feel guilty for feeling guilty. Why is Kate even here? Okay, this is ridiculous. Come here. Now listen up. Obviously, if we're gonna be happy, we need to clear out the junk we're carrying around. You, go talk to Jen. You, go talk to your mom. Me, I'll help Devin rescue our playlist. Ready? Greek! My mother used to say, may you have a daughter who treats you the way you treat me. So I take after you? I was hoping to stop the cycle of annoyance. And this is a Shirley Temple, lest you're worried I'm going to drag Barry here off to the dance floor again. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Yes, you did, dear. Another cherry barkeep. And keep him coming. Oh, man, what a friggin' mess. Sheila deleted my wedding playlist. Where the hell is your wedding march? But you're gonna find it, right? No, not a chance. Oh, sorry, I was... Oh, no, you're fine. Okay. How's Kate? She's, uh... She's great. Too bad. We weren't ready for her when you guys first started dating, huh? I mean, we could be having a double wedding today. <laughs> yeah, right. I wasn't in good enough shape for someone as together as her. You're uh, doing a lot of pinning there. Yeah. Are you just tits ass and a really good time? You betcha. Sam. Let it go, Jennifer. Okay. Time for the happy fruits. No, no. He's already made us unhappy, and we're not even married yet. It's okay. It'll be okay. How? I can't go down there and just go through the motions. Well, then let's not go through the motions. Let's do something different. Something for us. How's your son? Kyle, is it? Wow, good memory. He's, uh, he's just my heart and soul. Yeah, I'm just a plain vanilla working mom. Carpools, soccer games, pretending to know the answer to questions like what's past the sky and why don't birds fly backwards. Kids are so cool. Mm. Hey, I got a crazy idea. You want to have dinner? Sounds dangerous. The last time we had dinner, you choked on your salad. That whole instant family thing. Yeah, well, I'm in a really different place now. 
So, I mean, we don't have to make it a big deal, just a casual dinner. I don't have time for casual dinners that aren't a big deal. Okay, so then let's make it a big deal. Okay. Okay. I think that's a beautiful idea. Normally, this would be the point at which I would ask our couple to begin their vows. But today, they're not going to need them. Well, we say our vows together every day in everything that we do in public and in private. You all know everything that we could possibly promise to each other. So. This day isn't about what we can say to each other. It's about how we can join ourselves together in a new way. And that involves all of you. So will you all please stand? It's time for you to take your vows with us. You are all here because you're family. Whether we were born to you or we chose you, and as we move into this new phase of our lives together, we want our family to be a part of it. And that's all of you. So, do you, each of you, take us as your unlawfully wedded family to have and to hold, to honor us, to comfort us, to support us as we do each other? And to support us not just as girlfriends and partners, but as a married couple, just as you would each other. For better, for worse. For rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, in sadness and in joy, hopefully mostly in joy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we both shall live and into the next life, too. We, we do, do. Well. <laughs> By the power denied me by the state of Washington, I now pronounce you wife and wife. You may kiss your brides. <laughs> I'm sorry. Two seconds. Yeah. All right, enough. OK, between that and the playing with your hair and the not talking to me, I don't know what's going on with you, but it's. Oh, uh, what? Did I interrupt your love connection? What? Wait a minute. Is this about Kate? Well, just because you're going through a slump, you can't be happy for me? Jesus, Sam. It's not friendship. It's not family. That's something else. <laughs> 